Hey everybody, welcome back. David Yon on the Studying Miss Lady Pop Hunter here with another weekly roundup taking a look at some of what is coming to the adult collector's action figure market soon announcements. Uh, this Sunday, we're going to have Alan from Comic Collector Geek back. Alan from Col uh, Comic Collector Geek will be joining us this Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Atlanta Record and CD Show will be Sunday, April 30th from 10 to 4 in Marietta, and mm -hmm. we will be attending that, and we will film it also. And I guess that's going to do it for announcements for the time being, until we put up some more show announcements, because there's plenty of things coming up. Yeah. Now, first off, and I thought this was interesting, and I've... It's from a company called FigBiz. I don't know who they are necessarily. <laughs> Eric the Architect. I don't know who Eric the Architect is. It looks like a, a vintage Toy Biz card, which is what Marvel does. Mm -hmm. These are 35 a piece, though. Wow, what size is it? Do 35 a piece. No, these are 5 inch figures. Mm. They're actually smaller than Marvel Legends. This other one is Zombie Juice. Who are they? Somebody tell me who they are in the comment section down below. And I wonder how they're getting away with copying the Toy Biz cards because Marvel owns the rights to those. Mm. Or Mattel does, rather, I should say. Mattel <clears> owns <throat> the rights to those. 35 apiece for these. I just thought they were different. We'll knock Funko out. Mm -hmm. Get that out of the way. They don't have much this week. There's Bon Scott uh, from ACDC. Yeah. Yeah, ACDC Bon Scott. I don't think he can do it anymore. Isn't his voice gone? That's Brian Johnson. Oh, He's Brian Johnson. Singer. Okay, so I thought Bond. All right, I'm mixing them up. George Clinton. <laughs> George Clinton has a pop. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> You're oh. going to see a bunch of music related ones. Ghost, who I have only ever seen an action figure for him. I have no idea what this guy does. I, I know he's a singer, but, you right. know, or whatever, but otherwise, I don't know anything about him. Oh. Michael Jackson from, oh, what was it? Um, Smooth Criminal. Yeah. He leaned way further than that. Well, that's all a pop can do. I guess. Michael Jackson. Oh, no. Bad album version. Slipknot, Hot Topic exclusive, looking like a statue, I guess. <laughs> Soundgarden, their album pack, and again, guys, there is no album in there. It just looks like it. And Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord with his mixtape in the background. <laughs> That's cool. Uh-huh. And then the U2. U2 uh, How can you album. they did U2? I don't know. Maybe they did. Mm. It's Funko. What do you want? Yeah, that's true. And Usher. Oh, yeah, Usher. Mm hmm. And that's it for Funko. Oh. See? Simple. Simple. So we'll jump into Hasbro and get that knocked out. And Hasbro, from their Hasbro Legends, they've got the Super Adaptoid. Super Adaptoid, and you see he looks like a combination of Thor and Captain America there. $72. Wow, what size is that? Uh, in, in their... Um, Six six, in their 12th scale, he's a foot tall. Mm. So the figure will be 12 inches tall. Mm. But 72 bucks. Wow. Who, who makes that? Mark? Hasbro. Mm -hmm. Hasbro. That's a Hasbro? Ha it's a Hasbro Legends figure. Hasbro Legends. Oh. You could pick it up from any of the normal sources. Oh, okay. Yeah. More Power Rangers. And he comes in a box that looks like this, too. Mm -hmm. The Adaptoid. Mm -hmm. so with, a, with a photograph of the action figure on the front, because they couldn't even be bothered to do artwork. Anyways, I'll get off my horse here. These are running at 26 a piece. You got your Blue Ranger here from all these are all Lightning Collection, I believe. When are they going back to the window? I don't know. They said they were considering it. 
Uh, but, oh, I thought it yeah. was definite. I'm sure they will, but who knows when they'll start that. Mm. There's the Minotaur. This is 35, though. Uh, Lightning Collection, Red Ranger, again, 26. Reader Repulsa is 35 again. I don't know, is she that much bigger? Who knows? I don't know nothing about Power Rangers. Me either. I only ever saw the first season. Of, I seen some, yeah. like I said, I was getting my hair done and a lady's daughter was watching yeah. it. And I watched it then, but outside of that, I've never seen it. Yellow Ranger, as you saw, and then that transitions us out of the Power Rangers and back into Star Wars because we're, we're still trickling in Star Wars figures. Black Series uh, 40th Anniversary Return of the Jedi. I thought Black Series came in a box. They do boxed and carded. Oh. And they do carded in different sizes too because mm, they got the boy. like 7 inch or uh, 6 inch scale on the card and then they've got the 3 and 3 quarter inch scale on the card as well. This is Luke for $26, which means he's probably uh, going to be around 6 inches. That sounds like just another way to yeah. make more money. R5-D4, Mandalorian version. I thought that was an R2-D2. No, that's R5-D4. Oh, this is a different figure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Emperor's Royal Guard. Mm-hmm. Darth Vader with the removable helmet and chopped off hand. What did chop his hand off? His hand got cut off in Return of the Jedi. Mm. And that's all oh, for good. Hasbro. And we'll show something from Kyoto. Mm -hmm. These people like these. That is Moon Knight, one twelve scale. And they're showing you his articulation here. And and of course he's mixed media. You see the cape with the wires in it. Moon Knight is 120. This Kyoto's not cheap. That does look good. It does look good. I've again I've never handled one. I've heard they're not bad figures. Okay. Actually. But you know, this is obviously for posing and photography and stuff. You can just stand it up on the you, shelf. You could. And here's his accessories. Oh, it's a face plate change out. Of course. Face plate change outs. And then this I thought was interesting. It's a uh, kid's concept, and that is Rick Hunter from Robotech, mm -hmm. one twelfth scale mixed media. And they don't show much. This is the best I could do for uh, for photographs, because of course you know old school Robotech fan, uh, one of the in my opinion is one of the original animes, and the original ones are the best. So it was nice to see this. 140 though for Rick Hunter in 112th scale. I'm like, what else does he come with? Hmm. I have no idea. For $140, he better come with a lot. Yeah, well. And jump to Mattel. Okay. You recognize him. Mm. Is that Newman? Yes. Oh, okay. But this is him from Jurassic Park. Oh. At, when he was. Dennis Nedry, mm -hmm. Dennis Nedry, and these are three and three quarter inch scale figures, but Jurassic Park's a popular line, and that, of course, again, Dennis Nedry, seventeen dollars. Hmm. There's that can of Barbasol, yeah, that you thought was overpriced when you saw it in one to one scale. Because <laughs> you can just buy a regular can, yeah, for like three dollars and put it on the shelf. And there's uh, John Hammond. Oh, he's got the ice cream and the scoop. Mm. That's cool. A Stegosaurus, juvenile Stegosaurus. Still $17. And a juvenile uh, Trinosaurus Rex. And Migo mm. is re-releasing their exclusive Snake Eyes and... Um, Storm, Storm Shadow 2-pack. They, G.I. Joe line didn't go far. No, well, they only did that, but they, it was supposed to be an exclusive, and I've been hearing that, too, that all of those Tops exclusives they they did 
have been re-released and all the people who collected those are like, what the hell, Migo? I thought these were exclusive. Well, not exclusive enough. And not with this either, because here it comes again. And I'll just show you what they come with here really quickly. So if you ever wanted an Amigo-sized version of Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes for a forty for forty dollars for the two pack, here it is. Cause boy, you need another one. Yeah, I know. I I love how like the chest armor is stickers. It, it looks like stickers, doesn't it, on his chest? Yeah. It'd be a sad thing if it is. <laughs> yeah, well, you know how they do. Anyway, Mezco hmm. went from me one extreme to the other. Migo to Mezco. Mezco's got this cash accessory kit. Okay. Br bricks and bread accessory pack. You get, uh, <laughs> the money, gold bars, gold coins. This is $25 to accessorize any 112th scale. And it comes with the duffel bag? It comes with the bag. Oh, if you got a John Wick figure, that'll work out cool. Yeah, John Wick came with some of that stuff. He oh, came he did? With, uh, this is probably where they adapted it from. Mm -hmm. I think those stacks of coins came from the John Wick set. And... Oh, the shadow. The shadow in 112 scale. And to their credit, though, mm -hmm. again, this is usually where they nail it, is with these uh, old school IPs that people have kind of forgotten about. That like, looks like the comic book rendition, yeah. the one with the mask over yeah, his face. Yeah, the scarf covering his, his yeah. mouth. Because I expect for their Dick Tracy's to look good. Yeah. But other stuff that they put out, people get frustrated with the, the highly anticipated stuff they don't do well with for some reason but this kind of stuff they typically do it's 112 for the shadow what's a pulp cover oh from the magazine yeah. i mean from the comic book yeah they got uh, a, a, a classic one and they got one that resembles the old school comics yeah head portraits i mean I, i'm not into 12 scale but and i love if that the was accessories a scale, too think of it like the old like the um 40s era comic book communication device they got down there uh -huh. with the little face on it yeah things like that the tommy gun the accessories are a nice touch let's see the crystal ball with yeah. the skull in it <laughs> <laughs> and that'll roll us into mondo with another x-men release and this mm -hmm. is of course one sixth scale and that is gambit mm -hmm. and i think it's interesting that they gave him a mystique head so Mystique can be impersonating Gambit, which I think she did in one of the original X-Men, the animated series episodes. Oh, okay. 215 for Gambit. And forgot to mention these last week. Uh, this is the She-Ra and Hordak bundle, which they're putting out for 395, which is cheaper than if you bought both of them individually when they were available. Yeah. Because you're rounding about 200 a piece here, but they were a lot more expensive than that. Well, it says down from 460. Yeah. See the 460 crossed out? Yeah. Why um, did we release that? I don't know, because they can. Uh, they put it into a. I don't know. Because Funko owns them now. Whatever mm -hmm. reason. Here's your She Ra. Now, this is a, a standardized She Ra, though, because the 40th anniversary one came with a couple extra pieces that are not pictured here. Okay. All right. And they're selling her by herself for 230 here, mm. which is still cheaper, if I'm not mistaken. But then again, like I said, you're not getting the bundle. You're not getting her little sidekick, her little version of Orko and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then um, that's the Hordak from the bundle. They're not selling the Hordak separately, but this is the standard Hordak mm. from the first round. Okay. Because remember, they had three. Mm -hmm. This is the standard one. They had a deluxe one. And then they had a, um, they had the filmation one. Mm. And we'll jump to NECA. And there is, from the Munsters movie that, wow, that fell apart quick. That bombed. Uh, the, the zombie Rob one? Rob Zombie Monsters movie. Mm -hmm. I think it went direct to, like, streaming service. Mm. That's the count. I don't know why they're not calling him Grandpa, but that's the count. And this is a uh, 46, I mean, sorry, 43 is a suggested retail. Yeah. And, of course, they've got Herman as well. What's that, a card? Um, no, that is a, it looks like a Edgar Allan Poe novel with some sort of a vinyl record there. Oh. Also as accessories. But, of course, we didn't see the film, so we don't know. 43 for this as well. 
Look at his shoes. I know. Well, I mean, that's how it looked. In a, <laughs> yeah, And that I know. guy was already tall, but yeah. you know how it is. The shoes are classic. Also from NECA, we've got more Ninja Turtles, more animated series Ninja Turtles. There's your deluxe shredder and clone. So... <laughs> <laughs> that looked like a Street Fighter. Or Goro, one of those. yeah. It, it, was it Street Fighter? That guy with the It was Mortal, 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 Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Yeah, Goro. Yeah. And a cross between um, Mortal Kombat and Austin Powers because he had the mini me. <laughs> Although, Tur Turtles did it first. Yeah. Um, the, or did uh, did Street Fighter come out before? I think Mortal Kombat <laughs> probably came out. I don't, come out. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to check on that. Time. This is sixty dollars. And then you've got um, Manta Ray, or Man Ray, or whatever the hell the it is. Is this the Walmart? No, this would be the one that goes to Target. Oh. He's got a little turtle, mm -hmm. a sea turtle. This is 48 though. Suggested retail. I like the animated stylization. Yeah. And the Casey Jones Phantom of the Opera version. I don't know where <laughs> that comes from, because I'm not familiar. Again, forty three dollars. That looks good. Yeah. I like I like the way that looks. And then Zog. Of course. You've got Zog. Zog is sixty. We're back to sixty again. But he would have to be a really big figure. The Triceratons. They came out with the Triceratons already. Yeah, well it was in a two pack. This is a different one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's a different series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Premium DNA. Uh huh. More Mad Balls action figures. Yeah, so you see how they some of those are drawn in because they have they don't even have prototypes yet. See the hands on the bottom row. Yeah. Those are obviously sketches. This is Clang Fang. These are all going to be fifty five a piece. Slo oh, look at that. Slobulous. Swine sucker. Well, he's got a rat on a fork. <laughs> and wolf breath. Just wolf and a fire hydrant. breath. Yeah, he's got a fire hydrant as a weapon. Really weird looking figures. Really reminiscent of like the early Playmates and um, Toxic Crusaders. Yeah, Toxic Crusaders. And since you brought it up, Storm Collectibles, there's Goro, another oh, version, yeah. another version of Goro in one twelfth scale. That's a good sculpt on the head. Yeah, they make good figures. Yeah, they I just do. don't think they sell a lot. I don't know. Cause you always see them on clearance on Big Bad Toy Store. Yeah, one oh five for Goro, and again, I believe that these are exclusive to Big Bad Toy Store now. Uh -huh. And 3-0 again, showing that, yes, you can make 1-6 scale figures cheap. There's Kento Nanami from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen in 1-6 for $150. Mm. $150 for this figure. They And all their anime figures are cheap like this, yeah. even when they did the Power Rangers. There's a better shot of them posed in a way you'll probably never get them. No, I don't know. But I, I do. I we have learned the hard way that a lot of times when they do these super posings with stuff, it's not that easy. No, the only thing I've got. Well, I do have the turtles from them and the um, transformers. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they don't. Well, those are two lines that don't pose well yeah. anyway. Yeah. Just because of you know the shape and like the turtles and those shells and stuff and yeah. transformers and all, all those of that. little tiny bits and pieces and then the rubber eye skin yeah so but hey that is it that's it for this week you see anything that caught your eye i like those pops which pops i like the two michael jackson ones uh-huh i like the um the Usher one. Oh, really? Yeah, because I like Usher. And uh -huh. it was one other that I like. I mean, if I saw it in the store... Oh, yeah, the um, George Clinton oh, one. Oh, Lord. If I saw it in the <laughs> store, maybe if it maybe. was on clearance, I would get it. I'm not going to go searching after it. I would have to be in the store and see it. I but see. I do like them because I like the music ones, you yeah. know.
But that's it. Other than that, I ain't seen nothing. I liked the uh, kid kids concept, Rick Hunter, mm -hmm. and I get the reference. I I I can look at that figure and I know where in the series that came from oh, wow, okay. and what the situation was that he was dressed like that. Mm -hmm. But at 140 bucks, uh, I don't know. I it's did just like expensive. that shadow figure. Oh, from Mezco. Yeah. yeah. I don't collect one twelve scale though. Yeah. But um And it ties in with what they've been doing. Yeah. With their uh like I said, they did the Dick Tracy, they got the Popeyes. These are all properties from that era yeah. that are dying. Yeah. That you know, people they don't even hardly know they exist anymore. Yeah, and I got like the shadow comics and yeah. the toy line and all of that. Mm hmm It'll fit in well, but Okay. Yes. Yeah, I like the shadow too. I'm just not gonna get it. No. Well, you anti mezco I'm not anti mezco I'm just anti off, off the uh, off the wagon, or on the wagon. I guess it depends. Yeah, how you look at it. <laughs> yeah, how you look at it. Anyway, hey guys, did you see anything that you liked? Tell us about it in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you knew all that good stuff. And if that's it, then what more can we say? But thanks for watching. And we will see you again soon. Bye.